Hi folks, it's Dave, and welcome to another episode of Fuse News. It's been a while, it's good to see you, admittedly, it maybe has been a little bit too long. But, regardless, I'm very excited to be here bringing you this video today because this is a bit of a special occasion. Now, you may have already noticed, because I imagine that the day this video goes out is the day that the patch goes live, but the new, long-awaited Fuse 2.15.0 has now been released and with it there are a few changes that I would like to talk about in some detail but not going to go into super detail I just want to point you in the right direction maybe give you a couple of useful hints and tips for uh, navigating some of these new things so first of all we'll cover the exciting stuff which is uh, just new features and there are a few really awesome ones so uh, so let's talk about them before I get into the more technical stuff so to have a quick look at these new features, I'd like you to point your attention immediately towards the help part of the main menu. As soon as you install the patch, go straight to the help. And I'm, here's why. When we open the help, we will see that on the left here, we have this new folder called latest updates. If I open this, you'll have a version number document. Now, as we get more and more and more updates, these will appear down the left here and you'll be able to read all about them. But this is the first one. So if we select version 2.15.0, on the right here, we can scroll around and read about the new features in the patch. Now, let's just have a look at this first section here. Just make the text a little bit bigger. So added media subfolders with previews for efficient asset navigation. This one is huge and it's been long awaited. I'm very, very excited for this one. The next three on the list here are language features, which I will cover in a second, but new keywords and a few new things. Um, we've now updated the friends section on the main menu to say share instead. I'm also just gonna whack my mic there for good measure. Uh, and there's a good reason for that because the share section now contains something called Da, 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 the Fuse <laughs> Showcase Gallery. And uh, this one is the most exciting one. The last one there on the list, updated Fuse programs. There are lots of new changes and new exciting updates to the uh, included Fuse projects. So we'll go over them in a second. Let's just visit each of these items one by one. I want to go back to the main menu. So the first one here was uh, media subfolders for efficient asset navigation. Let's take a look at that. If I go into the media section, and we'll just open up any of these artists, like uh, we'll do Ansimas. Now before, in the old version of Fuse, when I open one of these, we would get a big list of just assets. But now, as you can see, it's a bit different. We've got these nice folders that with, with these beautiful little previews uh, of the sort of vibe of the content within these folders. And every single artist in Fuse now has these. Um, whether it's an audio artist or 3D or 2D artist, we all now have these subfolders, which will make finding your assets and getting inspired with, with the Fuse Media Library a lot better, a lot faster. So that's really, really cool. I'll quickly just show you uh, in my folder, for instance, um, it's, it's not visual previews, but we have these separated effects, music, jingle, vocal folders. So much cleaner, much better. Fantastic, let's move on. That is a brilliant change. <laughs> Honestly, I've been so excited for that one, I really have. Right, back to the latest updates document. Okay, so that's the media subfolders. Um, let's talk about the showcase gallery, because that one's really, really, really cool. Okay, back to the main menu again. <laughs> I should have seen that coming, really. So as you can see in the bottom left here, it now says, share as opposed to friends as it did before and the reason is that this is not just the friends sharing system anymore if we open up the sh share section you will see the fuse showcase gallery now there are only eight games in here at the moment but that will change over time we're going to be adding more and more and more to this the fuse showcase gallery is a curated selection of awesome games made by the community which we've chosen to put into this gallery. When a program is in the showcase gallery, anybody can access this, as long as you have an internet connection, of course, and you can download one of these programs. So for instance, if you didn't have this brilliant game called Missiles, shout out to Linkcraft, 
Uh, if you didn't have this, you can press A on this and download it. Now, I've already got a version in my uh, on my Switch, so I'm just going to click no here. But this is how you would download projects from the Showcase Gallery. And as I say, there'll be more and more and more of these. And um, yeah, it's very, very exciting. So let's go back to the main menu. That is the Showcase Gallery. Oh, it is actually worth mentioning that, um, that the Showcase Gallery is also a part of the Fuse player application but i won't go into any more detail with that because there will be a separate player video uh, on all the awesomeness that is the fuse player so I'll, I'll leave that for now but for now showcase gallery all done uh, okay let's go back to our document so i believe we need to talk about slightly more technical things here oh no first of all i'll just quickly mention the fuse programs so do feel free to scroll through this document at your leisure and really, you know, really read it because we took a lot of time in making sure that we detailed all the stuff here, all the information as best we could. And um, and there's some stuff that you really are definitely going to want to wrap your head around. But if it's just for seeing all the cool new features, then that's also effective too. So we've got lots of new updates to the Fuse programs, all the included Fuse programs. Many of them now have high scores and save data where they didn't before. So 3D Crazy Shooter, for instance, you've now got a high score. Uh, you've got difficulties going on, like a different difficulty curve, loading and title screens, sound effects. A lot of the games have just had a bit of polish put on them and sort of brought up to the more playable standard. Maybe some tutorial text here, some drop shadows there, a high score here. There is also a totally new game added to the Fuse ROM, which is Know Your Place. Well, actually, that's one of two very cool games added to the Fuse ROM, but Know Your Place is a brand new fish-based Fuse high score game, which uh, is a lot of fun and very cute. So I look forward to hearing about um, if you enjoy that game or your high scores. Feel free to put a comment in there below. You know how to do all that stuff. Uh, okay, right, that's all the fun stuff out of the way. Now let's talk about something a tad, a tad more serious. And I do need to address this because it's a bit of an elephant in the room, right? So you're faced with a challenge if you're a developer for an application like Fuse. Because, of course, everybody now is releasing patches and constantly making their products better, which is great. And we're obviously going to be do this going forward uh, to make Fuse the best that it can be. But sometimes making a fix or adding a new feature uh, or even solving a problem sometimes will entail changing things that means that people's programs are not going to work in the same way. Now, obviously, we are going to have to be as careful as we can with this, and we always will be. And, needless to say, but I will say it now, we will offer a guarantee, an unprecedented level of support if your programs are not behaving quite as you imagine they would be. So if you've installed the patch and your programs don't work and you don't understand why and this video doesn't help you and you've read the latest updates document and you cannot figure it out, please get in touch at contact at fuse.co.uk or you can find us on the Fuse Arena forum and leave comments to us there. There's a Discord that you can join. Don't suffer alone with this. I personally will help you fix your program if it comes to that, okay? So all that said and done, at some point, there are going to be changes to the language which break, in speech marks, your programs. Now, the changes that we've made are very small, but they, as anything with code, you know, if you make a tiny change somewhere in the program, it turns into a massive, massive thing later on that you never, ever thought would be a problem. So the problems might manifest in a variety of ways, but let's just go over a few of these things briefly, briefly. First of all, you have an error message for an invalid variable type. Now, if you've never used a type before and you don't know what I'm talking about, no problem, let it go over your head. But if you do understand what types are when it comes to variables, then you'll know that in this little box above here, this one where my highlight is, string name, the word on the left of the word name, string, the red word, is something called a type. It's a type of data. It's a string variable. It's like a series of characters like F, U, Z, E different to a number, say an integer number. So string is one type, int is another. Now in old Fuse, you could write any made up word and Fuse would ignore it if it wasn't a real type. Now we thought that this was great for accessibility, but it turned out that you could do some quite strange 
coding habits and we didn't want to sort of allow people to make mistakes that they didn't understand without really like getting an error message to help them with it. So we decided that invalid types will now have an error message. The upshot of all this is if I type something like this, Bob space name equals Fuse, then Fuse will say, hmm, wait, I don't know what Bob is. You'll have to, uh, you'll have to help me there. Now you can still, of course, use a structure type to set up your own types and, and use those. That's all fine. But that's, uh, in essence, what the error message will mean, invalid variable type. And usually you'll be able to fix it by just changing whatever you've used, say you've used like bool or um, any random word, just change it to int or var and things will be fine. So this brings me nicely into this one. We've got some new keywords. We've got two new keywords. One is var, as I just mentioned. It's a generic type for all the types that you might not realize or understand quite what type you should call it. Var is your generic go-to variable type. Um, ref is a different kettle of fish and it's going to be a bit too detailed to explain here uh, and keep the video short but I would thoroughly recommend having a good look at this document here it's explained quite well but if you I mean I'm sure that lots of people watching are going to know exactly what I mean by the difference between pass by value and pass by reference basically fuse was doing these things on its own accord um, and now you have the option with ref to select when you want to pass by reference or pass by value. Again, if you don't understand what I've just said, no worries, let it go over your head and you will understand it sooner uh, rather than later, I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure. Do read the document anyway, because it's it's good information. Okay, let's, uh, let's go a bit further down. Draw targets. So this one is a bit of a strange one and you're just gonna have to uh, see it when it happens uh, in your programs, but in the old version of Fuse, the update command secretly did a couple of other things as well. And one of those things that it did was that it changed your draw target, where you're drawing your stuff to, it changed that automatically back to the default one, which is called the frame buffer, or kind of the main screen, if you like. Now, update does not perform that reset. And it does mean that your code will be sort of cleaner for this. But, simply put, if your program is no longer displaying, just make sure that you add the set draw target frame buffer after the update uh, where you've used your update and you should be good to go as it says there. Again, any of these problems, just come and get in touch, send us an email and we'll help you out. Okay, so lastly, sprite collision. There's a small change to sprite collision boxes. Now this is not gonna be a problem if you are not using the box collision. If, if you're using the shape underscore box collision type on your sprites, then you will notice that your collision boxes have changed size slightly. And this is because of a bug in Fuse that was actually calculating the sprite collision boxes wrongly. Now, this one is probably going to cause us the most trouble. I say that lightly um, because lots of people are already using these sprite collision data and making do with the way it is now. Thankfully, thankfully, it should be a very easy fix. All you'll need to do is just reduce the size of your collision boxes. Now again, I'll say it again, and it says it right here at the bottom of the page, look, we understand that introducing these changes may cause inconvenience, and for this we apologize, and we definitely do apologize, but please bear in mind, we are trying to make Fuse the best product it can be, and that will involve doing things that occasionally just require explanation and some thinking about. So I really, really thank you for your patience uh, and thank you for watching this video. And do reach out to us if you need help. Okay, we're very, very, very happy to help. We, we love helping people out in our community. Oh, uh, I will just say lastly, if you want to really go deep into the patch details here, you have a list of fixes. These are more precise descriptions of particular bugs. Okay, so this is the document that you want to be looking at, the latest um, latest documents, latest updates document. Head over to that, check it out, give it a good thorough read, and um, I hope that you guys are excited about this patch as I am. I am super, super excited. It's... Uh, Fuse just feels better than ever right now, and obviously we've been using the patch for a while because we've been creating it, 
but I'm so excited for you guys to finally have this patch um, and let's just cross all the bridges when we come to them. Um, yeah, I think I've about covered everything there. Um, I do want to say actually, just as a heartfelt thing, thank you to our community for being awesome, patient, creative, supportive, all of it. Okay, every positive comment goes so much further than you might think. Um, and every, you know, awesome little program that is made and shared just brings us so much joy. You know, we love this product. So we want it to be the best that it can be. And we hope that you're all continued. Um, we hope that you all continue to be patient with us and uh, enjoy the changes that we make to Fuse. Okay, I think that about covers it. I want to keep the video nice and short, so I'm going to say goodbye here, I think. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you know all that stuff. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. The, Fu uh, the Fuse channel is growing all the time and it's so exciting, you know? I mean, we're now nearly getting to 2,000 subscribers and we were only at 1,000, you know, some months ago. Um, so, nice. Nice one, guys. Um, so, that's all from me. Uh, I hope that you have a fantastic week ahead of you or weekend or whatever time of day that it is, wherever you're watching this in the world. Have a great one. I've been Dave, and uh, all the best. See you later.